Hey everyone, welcome to video log number three. Today I'm going to show you a basic straight style blowout and finish. This is something that you can do at home on your own. It's very simple, it's not too complex. Um, for the first in the series of styling videos that I'm going to do, I wanted to keep it as simple as possible for all of you out there. So we're going to go, we're going to do a five step process. We're going to wash the hair, we're going to prep the hair with some product, we're going to blow dry the hair, we're going to style the hair, we're going to finish it. Okay, I'm going to show you what tools to use, how to use them, what products to use, how and when to use them as well, and hopefully this will be something that you guys can take away with you and use at home on your own. This is my lovely model, Yvonne, who has volunteered to help me today. As you can see, we've already gone through the five-step process. We've done everything here. Number one is a time-saving technique um, for both you and I, because this video would end up being an hour long, and you and I don't have time for that. And number two, it shows you the finished result right away. So let's get into it, shall we? So I washed the hair with uh, Kevin Murphy's uh, Smooth Again shampoo and conditioner. Um, then I dried it up real quick with a towel. And then I added in our prepping um, products. First one I brought in is a Kevin Murphy Staying Alive leave-in treatment. This is going to help cut down on flyaways. And because she has pretty blonde hair and she's got lots of chemistry done to this hair, this is going to help protect it from the heat of both the blow dryer and the flat iron. The next product I layered in on top of that was a little tiny bit of Kevin Murphy uh, Smooth Again Anti-Frizz Treatment. And again, that's exactly what it does. I just put it in from the mid-shaft down. That helps keep the frizzies down in the end. Now the, first, now, the next step I did was I went through with my blow dryer and my big round brush to get it as dry as possible. So you need a nice hair clip. You're going to clip up your hair from just above the ear to the top of the head. It keeps all the hair out of the way, keeps it really simple, in simple sections, easy to dry. So you're going to take your bull dryer and your nice big round brush. This is a gigantic brush. The larger the diameter of the barrel, the straighter the hair is going to be in the end. So you're going to take your section of hair, you're going to put your brush underneath, and you're going to aim the nozzle of your blow dryer down the hair shaft from the root all the way to the tip. And you're going to go down nice and slowly like this. And you're probably going to do that two or three times to get the hair nice and smooth and nice and dry. Okay. Aiming the hair down the hair, or aiming the air down the hair shaft, I should, shaft, I should say, closes the cuticle and helps add smoothness to the hair. It also helps dry it quicker. You're going to go up your next section and you're going to do that, the same thing I just did in that previous section. You can do the same thing all around your head. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to go in and you're going to finish it or you're going to, you're going to smooth it with your flat iron. So again, you're going to just section off small, small sections of hair, about an inch to an inch and a half in thickness, not too thick. You're going to take a comb and your flat iron. Your flat iron is not going to be turned up any higher than 315 degrees. I will repeat myself, no higher than 315 degrees. Hair melts past 315 degrees. Your flat iron should be used to add smoothness and straightness to the hair that you have already made straight with the blow dryer and the round brush. Okay, This is direct contact heat onto the hair, which means when these plates attach onto that hair, that's like you taking your hand and putting it on a hot oven element. Or hot stove element. There's direct contact heat and that's going to burn your hand real quick. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take these small sections, you're going to put your comb underneath about two inches away from the scalp, and you're going to very, very softly close your flat iron on the section of hair you have and pull it down smoothly and slowly in one motion. That is it. Do not go over the same section more than once. If you have to go over it more than once or twice, two things have happened. You have either taken way too thick of a section or your hair isn't dry enough. You need this hair fully dry before you take your flat iron to it, okay? Then you're gonna go up again to the next section. One inch to one and a half inches thick. You do the same thing and you put your comb underneath, take your flat iron, and gently pull it down 
the section and keep it nice and smooth. So once you've done your, once you've gone around, done your whole head like that, you're probably going to get some frizziness that's going to occur because again, this is direct contact, dry heat. It has pulled out moisture from your hair and you're going to get nice frizzy static, which we talked about in my last video log, if you'd like to go back and rewatch that. So what you're going to do now is we're going to take our finishing spray, which is going to be a shimmer, basically a shimmer oil spray is really what it is. It's just going to add shine. It has some anti frizz qualities to it. You're going to hold it about 30 centimeters away from the head. Take one spray, two spray, three spray, four at the most, and you can just take your hands and run it over the surface of your hair. And there you've got nice, smooth, non-frizzy, beautiful hair, beautiful straight hair. There. I hope those tips helped you out at home. I hope that was enough of a tutorial. Um, if it wasn't, please leave a comment or a question in the bottom below this video and I can answer anything from there. Um, other than that, uh, as you can see, we're on YouTube now, so please like and subscribe at the bottom. And uh, hopefully I'll be uh, putting up way more of these and hopefully the production value will only increase and get better as we go along. So thanks guys, thanks for joining me, and good luck with your hair, and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.